Hi everyone, welcome back. Today's video is about the secondary structure of proteins. Before we get to the video, please make sure to subscribe to our channel as this helps us out a lot. Okay, let's get to the video. Proteins are complex macromolecules made up of amino acids. Their structure can be described at different levels. The different levels include the primary, secondary, tertiary, and quaternary structures. Let's consider the secondary structure. Secondary structures of proteins refer to local, repetitive folding patterns that occur within a segment of the polypeptide chain. These structures are stabilized primarily by hydrogen bonds between the amino hydrogen of one peptide bond and the carboxyl oxygen of another. The two main types of secondary structures are alpha helices and beta sheets. Alpha helices are right-handed coiled structures, while beta pleated sheets are extended sheet-like arrangements. Let's look at each. Alpha helices are right-handed coils or helical structures formed by a single extended polypeptide chain. This helical structure is stabilized by hydrogen bonds between the carbonyl oxygen of one amino acid and the amino hydrogen of an amino acid located four amino acid residues down the chain. The helix is compact and stabilized. Alpha helices are common in regions of proteins that require stability, such as in the core of a globular protein. Beta sheets. A beta sheet is a more extended structure where the polypeptide chain falls back and forth. This forms a sheet-like arrangement. The adjacent strand can run parallel or antiparallel to each other. Beta sheets are stabilized by hydrogen bonds between amino acids in different strands. The alternating pattern of hydrogen-bonded amino acids give rise to the characteristic pleated appearance of beta sheets. So sometimes beta sheets are also called beta pleated sheets. Beta sheets are often found at the core of globular proteins as well and in certain structural motifs. There are also beta turns and loops. Beta turns and loops are regions in the polypeptide chain that change direction. They often connect different secondary structures together. Beta turns have a tight loop structure and are stabilized by hydrogen bonds as well. And loops are more extended regions that connect secondary structures. Secondary structures contribute to the overall three-dimensional folding of proteins, which means that they contribute to tertiary structures. Therefore, they play a crucial role in determining the protein's function. The specific arrangement of alpha helices beta sheets, and turns contribute to the stability, flexibility, and functionality of proteins. And that concludes this video. I hope this video was helpful for you. If it was, please make sure to like and subscribe to the channel. See you in the next video. Bye!